What the hell? Grim, why are you on my freaking PC, man, with your gross ass hands? Why are they like that? Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Sims in Bloom series, Generation 1 with Daisy. Today I think is actually going to be our last episode focusing on Gen 1 because Daisy has pretty much completed everything she needs to do for her generation except for maxing out the fishing and wellness skill which we're really close to by the way and she has one more perfect plant to evolve. Aside from that we have the option to grow a death flower and I think we probably will work on it um, until Clover ages up into a young adult which is nine days away but if we don't do it in that nine day span we're not going to complete it for gen one but it was optional anyway so it should be okay but picking up where we left off we are actually in um, at Poppy's house at the moment because we're having a birthday party for Daisy and Hallie who aged up into elders in the last episode Here's a reminder, oh geez, <laughs> bless you. Here's a reminder of what they look like if you guys missed it. And here's Hallie in her party wear. I'm gonna put her regular outfit on so you guys can see what that looks like. All right, here she is. Isn't she cute? Oh, little grandma. <laughs> well, she's not a grandma, but oh, certainly is cute. I totally forgot to give Charles a makeover in the last episode, so I might get onto that today. But I can tell already that he, I think he might have Poppy's nose. He definitely looks a lot like Poppy. <laughs> And he's super cute which is lovely um but i am gonna send these guys home now so they can get a good night's sleep and be up early for the day tomorrow all right so we've arrived home i'm gonna get everybody to fix their needs up and head to bed i think clover is just browsing oh wait you're not clover it's daffodil wait why are you guys on each other's laptops okay no <laughs> all right i'm gonna get clover to just come into her room and daffodil to do the same come on guys swap out I might get Clover to enter a video game tournament, even though technically we don't need to do it for a week, but I'm going to get her to do it now anyway. So let's enter one for mm, a blicker block because that's probably the cheapest and she's a beginner. Oh my god, I'm loving this outfit on her. Look at her shoes. She's so cute. <laughs> All right, I'll see how she does with that. And I'm also going to see, I think it might be too late, but I'm going to invite Mako over, which is... um daffodils kind of almost boyfriend yeah they're lovebirds <laughs> i don't think he will come over because it is pretty late he'll probably be sleeping but i did say he would stay over this weekend oh he will be over okay so i'll get these guys to hang out this weekend too and daisy and hallie can probably just head to bed because they're old ladies now and they need their sleep <laughs> i'll put your washing away for you or i'll just move into another room okay mako has arrived let's come outside and say hi to him these guys are going to come out here. Come on, actually come out and say hi to him. What is this waving from the porch business? Let's ask to swing with him. That's cute. You guys can go hang out on the swing. <laughs> Daffodils on the swing. <laughs> cute. Why don't you come give him a kiss? Because he traveled all this way. Oh, she's made herself nauseous from the swing, I think. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's a bit much for a teenager, but that's okay. These guys are a little bit older now from when they first met up. Um, let's give him a pickup line. But I want him, I really want to become better friends with him. So we'll ask him a few things about his taste on music and have just a bit of a chat. And while we're here, I am going to ask him to also be our boyfriend. I don't know how long term this is going to be, but I think it's cute that they're getting along so well. All right, here she goes. She's going to ask him to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Hello, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent separation has been removed from this couple. Hello? Oh my god, yay! They're boyfriend and girlfriend, that's cute. Well, these guys are gonna hang out. Maybe we'll get them to come watch a movie together. How did you go with your um, game tournament, by the way, miss? Okay, so <laughs> she didn't win again. That's all right. It, it was still good to do some things. Here she is. I don't know what happened to her eyelashes. She just has, like, no eyelashes. All right, it's getting pretty late, so I'm going to send everyone to bed, even if they're not that tired, because I think it's probably just about time that we head to bed. You are already asleep. All right, Daisy, <laughs> she really doesn't need any more sleep, but I'll check back in maybe in like an hour or two and we can get started with our activities for today. Daisy's first meal as an elder is just a slice of cheese on a plate. <laughs> All right, no worries. Ooh, <laughs> who are you flirting with now, Daffodil? I normally don't answer strange numbers, but I'm glad I did because I met you. 
All right, I'm just getting Daisy and Hallie to do a few errands this morning because the house is a mess and it's always a mess, but we have four like teenagers slash adults in the house now. So there's definitely enough hands on deck to help with all the dirtiness going on. Clover can probably get up and put her own clothes in the washing machine and you're having a shower, but once you're done there, come get some food, please. Um, Hallie is in here doing some washing up. She's really enjoying herself. She's having a very good time, apparently. <laughs> and I'm going to get her to mop up some puddles afterwards. Um, Daisy really needs to get a move on if she wants to get anything done today. Probably should get some more hampers for the house and stop clothes along the floor. Oh crap, that scared me. <laughs> Happy holidays, Hallie. Can I come celebrate the celebrate with you from the flower bunny? Yeah, okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> All right, Daisy. Time to get uh doing some things today so i'm gonna move her little cushion undercover and she can come meditate outside is that even undercover let's enter a incredible sports tournament and see how you go in that one and then i also want to get you to get a head start on some programming so after you've entered your tournament we'll do some of that you're fine to sit in your pajamas today because we had nothing else on and what level are you of gaming level five wow what about you? How you doing? Oh, cute. She's talking to Hallie. Is, did Mako end up coming back or is he gone? Because I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be staying over this weekend. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so this one is now perfect quality. Unfortunately, it hasn't sprouted anything yet, but that's okay. Which means we've finally reached our five perfect plants for this generation. Good for us. This one's also perfect. Okay, we. <laughs> I feel like we're definitely going to complete this gen before these guys pass on, which is perfect. All right, I think I'm going to get Clover to make a group with some of her friends. I, there's a Guild of the Games club, so I think I'm going to get see if she can join this one. So it's got Zachary, who is the leader, and then it's got Bo and Liberty and Clover. And Zachary said, welcome to Guild of Gamers. I'm happy that you've decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering and would love for you to introduce yourself to the group. We're meeting at 701 Zenview. Everyone will be there. You're going to make it. Yeah, let's go. Here we are. I'm not sure which apartment it is. I'm assuming this one. These guys are all adults. So I think I'm going to add some of our friends that are teenagers to the group. Um, who are we good friends with? Is there? Oh, there's a... I don't know if they've got something on here that you... You have to be level 2 plus at video gaming. Oh, that's annoying. Well, are there any teens? Wait, what? Why do we hate Daffodil? <gasps> Wait, that... What, what, why is that... What happened to our friendship with our sister? Okay, I've got to look into that when I get back. But for now, let's come and join. <laughs> let's join their game. This is a cute little apartment like a little bachelor pad is there a bed or something is there an upstairs oh oh my god this is so adorable i love this what the heck maybe i'll move here in one of my future gens wow i love it okay cute all right well why don't you have a chat with liberty and there's just like a someone's urn like at the front door <laughs> And we'll chat to Bowen as well. Oh my god, there's a baby here. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Come feed this baby. Oh no. Holy jugs, this lady. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm not surprised that Clover's becoming friends with people a little bit older than her. Because I would say she's like kind of mature. She's going through like a mean streak. Maybe she's like... Oh, I don't want to hang out with people my own age. Like, they're all so immature and lame. Like, <laughs> she knows exactly what she wants in life. And she's like, I'm going to move out one day when I'm a young adult. And she's, like, pretty judgy. She has, like, a judgy character trait. Every time we're at home, she's, like, judging people for some reason. <laughs> all right. I think I'm going to cancel this club gathering now. But since we're in the city, I'm going to invite some guys along to probably this karaoke what karaoke bar let's visit the karaoke bar let's bring daffodil i want these guys to get along better they were like not hating each other like an episode ago i'm so confused okay here we are i want her to i don't know who's hurt who let's ask her about her day though let's chat with our sister we're supposed to be good friends 
Maybe they had a falling out because Daffodil is now boyfriend with Mako after Clover was like, he's bad for you, like, don't date him. <laughs> Maybe they had a fight about it or something. Oh, she's really flirty. There, they're gonna sit together. We're gonna ask her if about Woohoo. We're gonna be like, hey, so like, I know you have a boyfriend now. Have you done Woohoo? And I think she's gonna say, no, not yet. Like, we're gonna wait until we're a bit older just to see how things go. We only just started dating, which is good because, you know, they're, they're teenagers. You can do what you want when you're a teenager, but we might hold off <laughs> in our game. <laughs> oh, cute. They have a sentiment now. Ooh, hey beautiful, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Can I come, ca can you come over here and keep me company? And I think we're gonna say yes and bring Clover with us. <laughs> um, I think we'll probably be like, oh, hey Clover, like, let's, I, I've got a really cool spot, we should go hang out, come on. And she's gonna take Clover with her, which I don't think necessarily is going to make Clover feel any better about the situation. I feel like she can't trust I feel like she thinks that she can't trust Mako um, and she just wants what's the best for her sister so they're in a little bit of a tiff at the moment so she's gonna arrive and be like are you kidding me like we're here with um, Mako and she's like oh look I'm sorry but like mom won't let me travel to like Mount Komborebi by myself <laughs> so I had to bring you with me and you can't tell anyone. So Clover's gonna come inside and hang out with Katori for a little bit she's probably like oh whatever like at least Katori is here. <laughs> So these two are gonna hang out here and have a good old chat. I might get them to put a movie on maybe. Oh, she's so blushy and cute. They're so cute. I they give them an embrace. Oh my goodness, these guys. <laughs> Daffodil is canned memories. Oh, cute. Oh my God. And Clover's just like brought herself upstairs to do some gaming on this computer. Of course she has. Why don't you practice your programming if you don't want to socialize with people? At least, because we need to get that skill up too. All right then, why don't you say goodbye to Mako and we'll head home with Clover. We, I feel like we had a pretty good day with her. She went out to her club gathering and then we met up in the middle and did some, well, we were going to do some karaoke, but then Daffodil was like, oh, I've got a better spot we should go to. And they've traveled to Mount Comfrebi <laughs> to hang out with Mako. So Clover's not exactly impressed, but she is going to keep her sister's secret because she knows that her mums would kill her if they found out that she came all the way here just to visit her boyfriend. So I'm going to get these guys to head home. All right, here we are. How are you doing? Oh my geez, Daisy, what's going on here? Go to the doctor if you're not feeling very well, please. Hey darling, wanna watch a movie together? I can order takeout if you want. Oh my god, no, but why don't you guys, why don't you come over here? I need to work on Daisy's skills today and you're just everywhere. <laughs> okay, we'll invite Mako over to hang out. Oh geez. Okay, yeah, Clover's not really she's going through a rebellious stage now, which is a little bit like oh, she's going through a mean wait, does that mean her mean phase is over or she got both? Okay, she's just got her rebellion stage now. Alright, I think that calls for us to come upstairs and do some programming. Hallie, can you please come and give a pet treat to Mochi? Also, I don't know if Mochi's gonna die now because he died last episode, but then it like was super glitched out, so I like debugged him and now he's just like alive forever, apparently. I don't know. Why don't you guys come with some TV together? Up Let's watch a movie with Mako up in our room. Hallie, I don't know what you're up to, but <laughs> going out with Daisy or something. Oh, she's at the doctor. Okay, fair enough. Alright, Clove's in here doing her programming and she's chatting with Hallie. I really want her to get the like for the skill so she comes and does it automatically, but we'll see. Alright, these guys are watching a movie together. I'm gonna get Daisy and Hallie to come downstairs and watch a movie as well together. Alright, these guys are downstairs watching a movie, which is really cute. And then Clover's upstairs doing some programming. And then obviously Daffodil's got Mako right here. Alright, so these guys are going to come sit together on the bed and just have like a little bit of a talk. I think that Daffodil's going to be like, oh, thank you so much for... Oh, I can invite him to stay the night. Thank you so much for staying the night tonight, Mako. Like, I really appreciate it. He's gonna say, yeah, of course. Like, I love spending time with you. Like, if I'm staying the night, like, maybe we should, you know, sleep in the same bed together and who knows what will happen. And I think Daffodil is gonna be like a little bit hesitant and she's gonna be like, oh, like, I don't know if I'm ready for that quite yet. And he's gonna be like, all right, that's fine. So we'll just invite him to stay the night and we'll see what happens. <gasps> oh no. Oh, and Mochi's died again for the second time. Oh, I'm 
glad we got to spend an extra day with him, our poor little boy. This time the Grim is coming. Marco's here to ex have a look. Oh, <laughs> Mochi! I feel so sad that he's gone. Mochi was like my favorite. <laughs> I really like Mochi and, and Sumi's funny, but Mochi's always like eating cake and stuff. Oh. You gonna come witness the death, Clover? Oh, honey. There they go. All right, we'll come put you in the front room next to Yogi. Yogi is here and then Machi is here. <laughs> R.I.P. guys. So cute. What the hell? Grim, why are you on my freaking PC, man, with your gross ass hands? Why are they like that? Oh, yeah. Okay. You're just having a little bit of a tip tap. Get out. Go. Bye. Thanks for stealing my cat's soul, but it's time to leave. All right, everyone is gonna head to bed now, so I will check back in, in first thing in the morning. All right, I've got Daisy up because it's about 5.30 in the morning this morning. She's gonna um, <laughs> water this plant with her tears because she's so sad from Munchie's death, which is actually kind of cute, but sad. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. <laughs> Um, once she's harvested everything in her garden, I'm going to get her to do a little bit of fishing this morning. Come super sell everything, please, to make some money for us. And then I'll get her to come up here and do some fishing. I can't do that, but I can do it with someone. So I'll get her to come do some fishing with Hallie. Sorry, Hallie, you are the guinea pig today. <laughs> but you're feeling all right, sweetie. She's looking so cute. And then Clover is hasn't slept because she's playing video games. Come on, go to bed. We have school today. Oh my god. Go. She's definitely in a rebellious stage because she's even rebelling against me. And I'm the sim god. <laughs> Daffodil's making some breakfast for herself, which is good. I think Mako might be still here. Yeah, he is. So we'll make sure we come and say hi to him this morning. So thank you for staying the night. We'll ask him for some reassurance just to be like... Like, I know you wanted to do some other things last night, but I just don't feel like I'm ready for it. Like, are you okay with that? Like, is, is everything all good? Like, you're not, like, going to leave me or anything? She's probably a little bit... She's quite insecure. Like, we know Daffodil's hella sensitive. So <laughs> she's probably, like, overthinking everything she does. But she doesn't want to feel pressured into doing it because she's young, doing woohoos, because she's just a teenager. And, you know, she's probably thinking... If, even if they did do it, like, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but she wants to wait till she's a little bit older, because they're probably, like, mid-teens now. I would say she's probably, like, just turned 16. Like, in my game, when I age them up into young adults, I, like, that's when they become 20. So I think in her, like, later teens, she's, like, 18, 19. But at the moment, she's, like, 16, 17, maybe. And he goes, I don't want to hurt your feelings. <gasps> do you think that I looked nice today? Oh, that's not very nice. Well, that's all right. We'll just describe a robot invasion to him. Seriously, go to bed. Is it because you keep turning your music on? I'll delete this concert out of your room. You can't go to bed, Clover. <laughs> go to sleep. You gotta go to school, like, basically now. No. <laughs> I'm not even reading them anymore. Every time Daffy texts us, it's a no. So we're just left with our dear Daisy again today, doing some fishing with her. She's looking really cute. Sprick has become an elderly cat. No! I thought we had more time with him. What? Okay, so I think the plan then for this afternoon is I'm going to adopt another cat that Sprig can have a baby with because I really want to keep the like cat genetic line going. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but... I thought he had more time as an adult cat and I was like, oh, I'd be fine because then we can move sprig out with clover and then they clover can get a second cat that's not sumi because sumi will stay with um these guys unless he dies before then and then i was like oh they can have kittens but he's an elderly cat now so i've got to really get a move on if sprig wants to keep his genetic line going all right guys i'm actually in creator sim because i just remembered there's actually this cat rosie that i want to uh put into my game it's made by little whims this is their profile here and they make some really freaking cute animals so i'm going to put um so i am going to put this kitty with a little love heart on her chest rosie into my game and we're gonna like adopt her i suppose and she's gonna hopefully continue with us isn't she cute do you like what we have right now um yeah i think daffodil does and we just got up to level nine of the fishing skill yay okay you keep working on that and how are you going in here 
So this is our little Rosie. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm so glad that I was able to find her in the gallery. Thank you, little whims. That's wonderful. Um, and I hope she likes little Sprig. All right, so I'm getting the cats to come in and have a chat to each other. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, look at the kitties. Oh my God, I love when they do this. They're so cute. How you doing, Daisy? She's getting there. She's only got one more level to level 10 for her fishing skill. She's level nine and she's 34% complete. And then I just have to get her wellness up, which, you know, I think we'll definitely be able to do. I'm really hoping so anyway. And I'm pretty sure that's everything we need to complete gen one. So I really want to grind through it today. Even if I have to skip, you know, the boring bits, like now I want to make sure we get it done in today's episode. So even if the episode's like two hours long, um, I'll cut, I'll cut it down, but you guys won't see all the boring bits, hopefully. <laughs> Where's Rosie? I'm going to get Clover to come meet her, because this is going to be Clover's cat that she takes, so first thing I want to do is get her to courage to mate with Sprig, because I want to keep the line going before Sprig passes away. I know it's, like, a little bit weird and sudden, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. Ooh, okay, now we just have to wait and find out whether she is pregnant or not. Anahi? Is it Anahi? Yeah. Is here with Clover, so I'll get Clover to come out and play with her. Not play, what? Um, chat with her. Maybe we'll get them to come play a video game. Party friendly. Let's play with a room with Anahi. I also want to give her a makeover because she's been coming over a lot lately and she's wearing this outfit. <laughs> Alright, so this is Anahi. I've kept her hair the same because I actually really like it, but I've just changed her outfit and given her some skin details and some makeup. So she's looking super cute. I think she's definitely like gonna come in and hang out with Clover now. Ask her for some advice because Clover's feeling really sad after her kitty died, unfortunately. But we've got a floating, I don't know why it's floating, but <laughs> a floating Rosie here. Yay! Daisy mastered the fishing skill, which means she only has one thing left to do, and that's the wellness. But for now, I'll get her to come inside and use the bathroom and make some dinner. Mm -hmm. Daffodil seems to have her life together more than Clover <laughs> at this point. All right, I'm going to get these guys to head to bed. I know it's still like technically early because they're not that tired. However, they have school again tomorrow, so you need to go to sleep. Thank you. All right, it's four o'clock in the morning and Daisy is waking up to the sound of a crying cat and a crying ghost cat, Yogi. <laughs> And she's doing some meditation this morning. She, it's the last thing she needs to do to max out her wellness skill until we can finally complete generation one. So this will be our main focus today. And once she's done this, I'm probably gonna get her to retire in a few days once we have a little bit more money. Cause I need to make sure we can afford a place for Clover and Daffodil to move out to once they age up into young adults. All right, all these guys are off to school and work this morning, which is really great news. So we can focus on Daisy today. Oh my God, I'm attracted to you, Hallie, and I really want to change our relationship. I'm going to say no because I'm married. Jeez, my wife's like out here floating right now. Why would you hit on me? Like my wife's here. <laughs> no, Daffy, stop. I don't know what to do to get her to knock it off. She's married. I'm pretty sure she has like two kids now. Yay, 100. Okay, we've only got one more level to get. Jeez, it's freaking hot today. It's a heat wave. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen my game so bright and saturated. Rosie's come to sit with Daisy in the sun. I don't know what's going on, but none of Daisy's needs are like going down. She's been meditating since like four o'clock this morning and all her needs are still basically full. Ooh, <gasps> ooh, Rosie's gone into labor. <gasps> Oh no! She's getting there. How are you going? I'm gonna stop her from doing this for a second because she really needs to come feed this cow plant for her work. How are you feeling? Oh, she's still got full needs. Is it the, because she's level... <gasps> oh! Rosie gave birth to a kitten. What would you like to call him? Waffles cute. <gasps> Smeaky. Potsy. Red. Socks. Bacon. <laughs> Squee's cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna call the cat Squee. Squee Bloom. <laughs> I want to see him. Oh my god, it's literally. Oh my god, it's literally another sprig. Oh damn, I was kind of hoping it looked a little bit like Rosie, but I guess not. That's okay. <laughs> another little boy in the house. All these kittens are constantly. They're all having boys. I don't think we've had. A Pippa was a girl, but she's the only girl we've had. 
out of all the kittens. Oh, but our house is full of female sims, so fair enough. Did you feed your cow plant for your, for your work from home? These guys are having a bit of a chat, which is cute. They seem to be getting along better now. Okay, she's getting so close. Dizzy is at almost 80% complete now. We're almost done. I think we'll get it done before midnight, hopefully. <laughs> <gasps> no! Sumi! Oh, Sumi's just died. That's two cats in... Okay, you can like video gaming. That's two cats in one episode. <laughs> oh no, Mrs. Sumi. Daisy, what the F? Why are you floating here? She, she came to witness the death while she was meditating. Can she just float around the house? How did she do that? <laughs> How did she do that? Oh, poor Sumi. Oh, why are you crying over Yogi? You're <laughs> Oh my god, come with, let's come have a look over here. Aww. At least we got to say goodbye to Sprig today, I suppose, because we gave him some lovin's and attention. Rest in peace, Sumi. And, <laughs> and Daisy has reached level 10 of the wellness skill, which means she can officially retire for this challenge, I'm pretty sure. I'll quickly flick over and check the rules. All right, so here we are looking at Gen 1. We have completed our aspiration. We have completed our gardening career. We've completed the skills gardening, fishing, and wellness. We've lived on a lot with the simple living trade our entire life. We've grown a cow plant and kept it alive for as long as we've lived, uh, kind of. <laughs> but we definitely have planted a second one when that one did die. We've had five perfect plants and married a sim who who has the loves outdoors trait so that means we've officially completed generation one and we also did manage to gain the outdoorsy lifestyle which was one of the first things we did surprisingly and we unfortunately didn't grow a death flower however we'll still work on it but it's a little bit hard when the um the grafted tree we need is only in season in what do i, I want to say august for some reason in it's only harvestable in autumn and it's summer at the moment it's only just become summer so i don't think we will get a chance to complete this one but you know what we still we still did it so that's perfect which means we will move on to gen 2 buttercup in the next episode but yeah here we are what a strange note to end things on daisy is just like floating in the house there she goes good on ya and little Sumi here has passed away. So now that means we've only got three kitties in the house, including our two new kitties. We've got little Rosie, who is our little love heart cat over here. Cute. And then her little son with Sprig, which is called Spree. Isn't he cute? I was kind of hoping that the cat would look a little bit different because this is our like third generation now of the cats looking pretty much exactly the same. So I might get these guys to have another kitten and see if we can get something a little bit more in between. <laughs> um, I would love the little heart to, I would love for her little heart and her chest to travel across, but if that's not a possibility, that's okay. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this one here because this has been a really long grindy episode and I'm excited to get started with Clover next episode and continue with Daffodil and her romance and see where that heads as well. Get her all set up for young adulthood where we'll leave her probably. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I accidentally clicked into this mode and I don't know how to get out of it. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of this mood. Okay, I just exited. <laughs> that was so funny.